I don't think that was the helicopter event, though, if, uh, if it is actually over. Because when the scripted one happens nine or so days in, that lasts a little while. That's like the better part of the whole day. But I got it set to sometime, so that'll just kind of periodically happen from time to time. And I'm thinking that was one of the random ones. A bit less intense. Oop, shit. Fucking swing and I miss that. He's out of here. He don't want nothing to do with it. There he's coming back. How the hell? I'm gonna get bit one of these days after I miss like that. Double kill! Okay. But yeah, it's generally a pretty okay spot. Two houses up here, the third in here, and then uh, some log piles and a shitload of space to work with. Just the one way in and out. That gate. Which is both good and bad. But uh, if you find a sledgehammer, I mean, you could always make additional ways through if you so choose. That's not that heavy. But let's do... Can I get the bin in? Yes, I can. Only just. But it fits. <gasps> hello, hello. What, what you got there, friend? Ooh. Okay. Jesus. It's like a waterfall of zombies. Fucking crawler. Crawlers? Don't, don't play with crawlers. Just don't. Do not. Just get run behind them because they're slow at turning and take them out there. It's not worth it otherwise. I swear to Christ they have like a 1000% chance of biting you. It's ridiculous. Well, yeah, hey, duffel bag. Uh, yeah, please. I'll take that. The duffel bag, 18 capacity with 65 weight reduction. Compared to my school bag of 15 capacity, 60 weight reduction. So it reduces more weight and has more space. Let's rip sheets out of here, though. Ugh. Put the rest of that in there. Before the animation update, yeah, they were they were really terrible then. That was not okay. You just they just kind of they're there and like their hand kind of moves and then oh you got bit. But suck man. So the school bag, wherever that is. Oh, uh, wait. Yeah, you can have that. Holster. Put that on. Not that I'm going to be putting on a, uh, a gun anytime soon. 
And your duffel bag has... What was that, tape? Yeah. And yes, you can wear a bag and also have a bag in each hand if you'd like. It works quite well to mitigate. A lot of folks do that when they're doing like, um, like a bunch of lumberjacking and sawing up wooden planks because the stuff is so heavy. Especially the bigger, more proper bags. You've got a lot more opportunity to stash proper heavy things in there because they've got so much space. I like your glasses. House key. I guess for this house. All right. What about his glasses? Ah, there they are. And you can have those. That's not the same glasses. His were like yellow, weren't they? Yeah, well, maybe not. I'll take the garbage bag, I suppose. Looks like you're about to rob a bank in Payday. Man, I get urges to play Payday 2 again. I really enjoyed Payday 2 for what it was. But... So much, like, there's so much fucking DLC for it. And so much of it is like, you gotta get a group of friends and play with all the time. Like, you can kinda do it solo, but it ain't the same. Take a look at the log piles over there. They're usually empty, though. But you never know. Also, dump off some of my stuff. Maybe turn off the van, too. That's still running down here. Ninety percent of the DLC is a complete package nowadays, you believe? But how's that work if I've already got... ...a fair portion of the DLC? Separately. Like, can I... Will Steam just be like... Complete the luck and give me like a super hot deal then? Yeah, okay. Then it may not be so bad. I'll have to maybe take a look at that. Cause god, there's a lot of DLC for that though. Right, the bug out bag, I think I also stashed away in the uh, passenger seat. It, it seems like we are properly done with the helicopter event. I th I'm pretty sure that was the little babby one, though. The actual one, you'll hear the helicopter leave a bit and come back, and I think that's to simulate it um, actually patrolling around and, like, leaving your local area and all that. Wait, what bag is that? That's just some other bag. Okay. I don't want that one. That can be stashed away. This watch can be stashed away. Yeah, because I've still got a watch on. Okay. Uh, 
Knock my glasses off, you bitch. The hell is your problem? Look at that alarm is set for 1800. How dare you? No, thank you. My glasses. Yes, place item. That's what I want. I appreciate that they have a 3D model, though. Big fan. There is a brief period of time where people were super duper upset with Overkill. Is that, uh, is that resolved? Because I'm not sure what the drama was initially. Oh, a lot of these aren't even containers. Ooh. But until I get a proper axe to chop down trees, because the trees then drop logs and I can saw them and it's like, holy shit, planks. But until then, this works out quite well. I just have to be very mindful of, of inventory space and weight and all that because this stuff gets really heavy. Since the review is 94%, so it hasn't been review bombed lately. That's a good sign. I'm, I'm glad Steam's got the uh, the chart and like time graph for all that kind of stuff, so you can see when the reviews came in. It's like I don't think you have to really do anything to necessarily fight review bombing, but if you just put the information out there so people can see when it happens. I yeah, know. I think you you affect less innocent parties that way with that system. Holy shit, these are also containers? Okay. Did not know that. Put a log in the toilet earlier, but <laughs> I guess putting them on the ground works too. I got a lot of logs here though. We got we got many, many logs. No, don't put that there. On the ground. The hell are you thinking? The toilets aren't container, you're lying. I know you're lying. Why are you lying? You can't put things in toilets. There are a pretty good amount of logs in here, actually. I I I don't think I ever looked in these though. That might be part of the problem. So a lot of potential logs missed out on. Alright. I wish I had my shopping cart from that mod. That shopping cart was awesome. Alright. How... Can we... Don't think so. I think the best I can do is just uh, park up through the fence and we lug it all by hand. You can also disassemble the visual log object, like the container itself. Good show. That makes a lot of sense. Why search a gold pile and claim it's empty? It's a gold pile. Just take the gold pile. You're asking if I can. Ah, uh, well, I can't read, so... I'll... Are we at 86? I think so. I'll find out then. Because maybe. Maybe I can. It seems like actually, no, I cannot. Damn. <laughs> it. It is just a gold pile, and it is in fact empty. 
Such is life. God damn it. Pull up my health here. Because we're going to get pretty heavy. I don't think that is the second gate, but maybe. This bit here? I don't think that's a gate. It's just a stupid half fence thing. Okay, that's full. Seat occupied. Oh yeah, I got got a few things on there, don't I? No. Okay, so what I'll do then? Equip secondary. I got the one on my back. It is so dark here. I got the one on my back. We'll equip primary. On whatever other bag we can find. I think this guy still has his. Yeah. I am luggage man. <laughs> One trip bringing groceries away. That's what this is. It would be nice for vehicles to be able to do damage to proper world structures. You can rip through the uh, the basic shit fence along country roads. So it's just like a bit of twine on sticks. You can rip through that if you go fast enough. You can maybe damage also fences like this. Smash and grab into a glass fronted store. Oh man. You just want to play payday. That's what this sounds like. Still pretty heavy, but it could be worse. I, th I think I got most of them. I think there might be another small pile of like three that I missed, but oh well. Ugh. Some vision. Look at that. Payday 2 is 74 gigs nowadays? Oof. I'm not surprised. It's been long enough with all the DLC and all that. I can see it. That's, that's fine, I guess. It's still a pretty big ask. I think, uh, dude had a hard hat there. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Excuse me, pardon me. Where is... Where are the bags? Oh, they're all here. All right. Ah, movement speed. What a thing. Okay, there's a few here, actually.
Come over to the street light so I can actually see what's happening here. I want this dude's hard hat. Dunk, dunk. Those are satisfying hits. We're so exhausted and tired, though, I think, that we're not able to really kill them. <laughs> Joke's on you. I didn't have to kill you. I just had to pull you away. <laughs> Moment. And then we can clear the area a little bit, and I can grab my bags again. There we go. Enough with this cowboy hat. Okay. So what I'd actually like to do here... I'll turn that off for now. And I'll drop these. What I'd like to do is wait until morning. You got a little bit of a, a cherry? I'll eat that. Dude, the lighting in here sucks. There we go. Refill some bottles. Get some food situated. Take a quick nap. You guys got like a pot too? This is like almost perfect. Because I don't want to dig into my bug out bag. That's fine. Oh man, can opening sound effects. I don't think I gotta cook this. I think it's okay just being... as is. Yeah, it don't seem to mind. Om nom 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 nom. Okay. So, a bit of food. Turn the lights off. I'll set an alarm. 7.20. A bit of a nap, and we'll have a, a little sleep here. Ah, vision, holy shit. Ah. Because otherwise, I'll never find my bags. I would never have found them. Equip on back. Equip primary. And equip secondary. Checking with the mask on, what a chad. Yeah, filters, come on. 
You got any large particles in your drink? The mask cycles it through. Oh, a white cowboy hat. Okay. A little bit of respawning shenanigans, a little bit of helicopter event. The world getting generally a bit more busy. You go on my back. Hurrah! I would feel a bit more bad about damaging the trunk of this vehicle if I didn't have the Spiffle van. But otherwise, you don't really want to drive through zombies much, because it really fucks up the vehicle. That's why I do it like really slowly and gently. Because if you're going at any speed and you smash into them with your trunk, you're gonna dent the hell out of the trunk. And a, a trunk in bad damage it doesn't it doesn't hold as much stuff. And uh it says something also about like things can fall out of it. I don't know if that's true though. It says something about that. would like to place you for now just here behind the under the mirror yeah with the trunk you can repair it a little bit with a propane tank and metal sheets I think are best um it's it's not permanent but I don't really have the materials right now so it's nothing I really want to you know nothing I want to do Let's get the stuff disassembled Jesus, look at all that bling. Gold wristwatch. Moi. You think that's a Railox brand? I hear that's a really good one. That one had a credit card too. Come on, 1v1 me, bro. You lose in the ooze. Heard, to, hawk, heard people talk about stuff falling out if the trunk is open while driving. Never actually tried it though. I've left stuff... I've left the trunk open plenty of times and I've never noticed it either. But uh, I know why they think that and it's because the game says something about that I believe in vehicle mechanics. But yeah, I've never had it happen before. Uh, where is the... Art info. Damage or misshapen trunks have less storage capacity. Yeah, somewhere it said it. I remember reading it before in game. Somewhere. It says something about that. But uh, yeah, I never had it happen before. Because especially nowadays, like you would know that something fell out. I gotta stop equipping the stuff because I'm gonna put it right back down. Eleven planks. Those can go on the ground. Um... Where would I like this? How about just here? I may be running a little bit out of space. That's okay. It's 
So we got plenty of planks now for finishing up the barricade. Finishing up... Well, really just finishing up the barricade. At some point we can make like boxes and stuff. I don't really have any ongoing projects though, for the moment. I need more nails. Oh yeah, right, that's the thing. The floor is full. That a bit better for you? Okay. A lot of weight and stuff. And a couple bags if we ever need it. I'm not a hoarder. No, how dare you? Come on. <laughs> the game just doesn't... The world's not big enough, is all. They need to make the world bigger and give me more space to work with. It's just unfathomable how anybody could cram all of their life into these tiny tiles. It's ridiculous. It's insanity. It's... it's knocking futs. Bonkers. All of those. And then this can turn into... our new electronics thing. Which, uh... Actually, for the sake of transferring... Ah, I'll, I'll give my health a break, actually. Actually, we should probably cook something and eat, and, like, probably get ready to sleep again. Or at least nap. Let's do that first. We can transfer stuff later on. What do you think about today? How about another soup, actually? We got, we got more than five bowls. Because I think there's a couple more kicking around somewhere. We can actually split something up into fourths. And then sip on those bowls. So let's do a really nice big soup. Or a stew. Truthfully, I don't really know the difference in the, uh, in the scope of the game. I think I'm gonna maybe dip into a canned corn. And uh, maybe a beans. Yeti, you shouldn't use canned goods yet. No, 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 you shush. I'm doing it. We're opening these. It's happening. Okay. And then cooking pot with water. The cooking menu. Pot of soup. I, uh... Why do we have, like, no options here? What's the story with this? Maybe, maybe a pot is not what we need. Heat up cans of the microwave? I just did that with the can of soup earlier. Yeah, no problem. I also did that with a frying pan of some stuff. Don't do it IRL. That's a bad idea. But in-game? Sure. Just takes a little while longer. I mean, I'd, I'd like to do a soup, though. I'm not sure why I can't do soup here. What if I... Because you really want to make a soup out of the canned soup here. What if I just, uh... You know, let, let's hide them. Look, if you want to do a schnitzel hunt and look for the canned soup. They're hiding. It's like the Santa hat. Hey, we leveled. Yeah, sprinting leveled up. Nice. So how about now? Still no. Canned mushroom soup. Oh, God. 
can you not? Like, I feel like there's maybe a little bit of a conflict happening or so. I could make a roast. But I want to do a soup. Hmm. So we got tons of stuff for it. Where'd the pot even go? Plump helmets? Nah, fresh out. Haven't been able to do any growing yet. Oh wait, it's not full. Maybe because it's not full? I don't know why it's not full. Oh wait, I know why it's not full. Oh shit, hold on. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think water turned off. Okay, now it's full. Now I can make soups and stuff. Ah, shit. Water turned off a bit early. Okay, well, let's get our pots and stuff outside then. Alright. First things first. Let's make a nice soup. With the, the corn. Obviously. The canned corn. And, uh... What was the other can that we had? Like potatoes or something? I guess it doesn't go in. A little bit of onion. A little bit of cheese. Some rodent meat. The salt, obviously. And bell pepper, apparently. Sure. Yeah, why not? And some pepper. And a bit of bread. Not fresh bread, though. It's getting a bit stale. Okay. That's full up. Vegetables and rodent meat soup. Fresh uncooked. It's not as good as you'd like to think it is. But I'll microwave it, too. Just for you. Maybe we set the timer to, like, I don't know, 10? Just in case. Maybe, maybe actually put the soup in the microwave first. And then we go for it. Okay. So then while you do that. Bread away. Salt and pepper. Was that it? It seems a lot better about putting stuff back when you're done with it, which is really nice. Okay, 10 minutes. Not enough. Let's just time her off and just go indefinitely. I'll tell you when you're done. Almost. Okay. Nowhere nearly as good as the gout stir fry that we had, but uh, I'll still make four bowls of soup with this. There. And then the cooking pot can go away. And the four bowls of soup, we can still have just a quarter of. So if you make like a really, really filling thing, soup's awesome for that. But uh, I am quite hungry, so we're going to have all of one of these. Microwaved bread soup. Ugh, mm. You'd think, oh, surely it's just croutons. Nah, I just, I just lopped off a bit of bread from the loaf and just dunked it in. <laughs> I can't rename the bowls of soup, huh? Wait, maybe from here? No. Alright. Well, it starts with B, so it's fairly easy to find. 
And then I need containers, cups, bowls, cooking pots. These have to sit outside now. We got to collect rainwater and unknowingly boil the rainwater because rain is disgusting in this game. It's all bad, apparently. Looking good. Ridiculously tired, getting bored. Yeah, well. Let's set an alarm again for, we'll say, we'll say like 1850. a bit of a nap. So all of this then. All goes into the crate. And this will be our new like tinkering electronics whatever crate. Repairs and all that kind of stuff. Just the miscellaneous, the junk drawer as a crate. I think that's it. And a pen. Yeah, seems fine. So, um, how many nails were there? I don't think we have many. Maybe like three? Eight nails. Alright, well, that's enough for a bit of work, at least. I got- I got this side done with just the one plank. I know I can have more. We just didn't have the planks at the time. Go with two there. We're gonna go, like, all out with this one, though. Because that's where I sleep. Should be, like, two or three nails left, right? I know that's it. Okay. Yeah, fine. It doesn't sound like grass. It sounds very wet and slimy. Okay. Nice little minefield and a sniper tower with a trench and barbed wire. 10 meters tall. I'll do it. I'll get right on that. What even is my carpentry skill? Alright, we're still missing a book. Um, God, I... Hmm. I could see about going... Hello. I could see about going into town. I guess. I gotta get a new weapon. Uh, if I had more nails, I could have put some some nails and turned it into a nailed bat. It's a bit stronger. It makes it a little bit easier to repair because you just add another nail. But maybe I can do some basic repairs. Duct tape, glue, adhesive. I mean, I don't think I have wood glue, but I do have normal glue. Only 10%. And it uses a pretty good amount of the glue. 
and now it's only repairing like 4%. 3% with an 89% chance of success. That's no longer worth it. We're gonna want nails then for uh, for the rest of that. Fire station? Yeah, it's a good show. We could head to the fire station and uh, police station was next to it as well. If we want to go that far. Yeah, to leave them on the ground. I do have strawberry seeds, but uh, with no good way to water. That makes it quite annoying. Watering can can at least sit outside, though. Um, floor's full there, so I can't do much more moving. Does the snow shovel work? Boy, that's awkward to imagine. I'll bring the metal pipe just in case, too, as a backup weapon. Now, big furrow. You gonna use the shovel? Yeah, you will. Okay, that definitely won't get trampled. <laughs> no, sir. 50 seeds. We'll be very safe. To prevent disease from spreading across the crops. Typically, I don't care too much. But this is all the seeds I got. So I'm gonna go ahead and care. 12 seeds needed. Okay. Oh. <laughs> They're so small. <laughs> uh, hey, a couple of worms. Very nice. I rotate that a little bit too. Look, it's like they're eating the seeds. Scarecrow or noisemaker? No, thankfully no. Okay, we are drowsy and a bit hungry. I will... Uh... I gotta water you guys a little bit. They're parched. But, uh... Don't have a whole lot of water. I like the new way of watering stuff, by the way, where it doesn't make you go into the menu every... every single time. Big fan of that. You still had a little bit of water left in here, right? Not sure how much more it's got. Pretty sure I just heard a bear. Get away from my field, stop! Snap that thing in half in my hands, holy shit. That got taken out quick. Okay. So they're... they're watered a bit then? Parched. 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 Well, tough shit. I hope you get some rain. <laughs> I gave you a- I gave you a little trickle of water. I don't know what else you could need. Plants are so picky. Man, that sucks water's already out. Oh well. 
give me some of that. Why did I put it in that? Some of that soup. Oh my god, it's so delicious. <laughs> the loudest eater, man. Okay. And sleep until you're done sleeping. We should wake up at like... 5? Maybe? Okay. 8.40? Maybe? <laughs> And since you guys weren't really the problem, you don't have to sit there anymore. Oh shit, candy cane. Delicious. And my bug out bag, is that still in the passenger seat? Yeah, it is. With the cowboy hat and a plank, another plank. I like my hard hat. I'm very happy with this. If I head back to the mechanic, I might see about grabbing the... They had like an actual proper dust, uh, dust filter. See about grabbing that. Are you still parched? Still parched. Last time watered 11 hours ago. And I did water them all. Yeah. Mm hmm. So, let's head out. <sighs> hey. Reliable. Was this? Yeah, this is it. I think this first one's a fire station. What happened to him? Well, like a piece of skull fly out and get him? The fireman stuff, by the way, is if you don't consider the weight of it and the fact that it can't be repaired, some of the best armor that you can get. But it is very heavy. You're going to be like 11 or 12 weight just with the clothing that you're wearing. This dude dead yet, finally. Feels maybe a little bit cheap running them over with the vehicle all the time. Got a knife in you. And it looks like you're wearing somebody else's face. Your hairline is a bit whack. Any good loot? 
So yeah, I'll wear the firefighter pants because I need better leg protection. Long denim is, uh... It's okay. I don't think it can be repaired yet. It can't be repaired at all. Whatever happens, happens to it. That's it, that's all. We're looking a little bit legit though nowadays, know what I'm saying? Look at us. I like it. It gives me that like... Level 12 in an MMO kind of vibe, you know? We got a lucky drop on the pants. We'll have those to level 20. Stash a backup pair. I can't repair it, but, uh... Okay. As this thing is also alarmed. God, that'd be so bad. <laughs> right on the edge of the city, too, after the helicopter event. That'd be just the worst. Two hundred fifty water. That's got in it for now. Weighs thirty, though. God. Okay. Does it have to? What about you? We got any info on you? Fancy hanging sink. I need a wrench. Twenty-five percent chance to break, though. Probably also need some, like, plumbing stuff. I- Cam, I know she's there, come on. She's out of here. Metal pipe, wood glue. Metal pipe I'll take. Oh, it's already a bit roughed up. That's kind of lame. But oh well. The downside of that, though, is I don't have any short blunt... Oh, wait. I'm a short blunt kind of guy. Oh, never mind. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't care. Here we go. I, I didn't realize I had short blunt skill. Ah, I guess because I'm used to uh, being like a mechanic or so. that back there. So we've got nothing on my back then. And metal pipe fits. Okay, cool. Good deal. One-handed melee. Technically, what we're best with. Tire pump. Pipe. I'll take a spare screwdriver too. You're in good condition. Just in case we do end up losing condition on a screwdriver from whatever. I'm pretty sure it doesn't lose condition. Pretty sure it doesn't lose condition though. And there's our axe, ladies and gentlemen. Bam. And use the axe to knock down trees. To get the logs. Saw out the logs into planks. Bang, boom. You do, however. Um. Mm, I'll leave it. You do, however, use up axe condition knocking down trees. 
That's a thing. Disinfectant. Disinfectant. Bandage. Not sure where they are out there. I'm guessing they're just out in the lot on the side. The windows are still intact. Yeah, it could be above. Yeah, maybe. Crowbar. That's like falling apart, though. But uh, I'm pretty sure that's also used as a tool. Okay, let's let's drop off some stuff. So far, so good. This has been pretty nice. Drivable fire engine. Not like the proper fire truck, but they do have a mocked up, like, kind of a... I think it's a van, actually. Like the fire marshal van or so. I think it's got... Not as exciting, but, uh... Yeah. Something. Actually, I might, uh, might do a quick tire check. I might, I might actually need... I'd actually need to pump my tires a little bit. Not too bad, actually. I did it the stupid way. But oh well. Tires inflated. The rear right tire we could see about replacing when we get back too. I got the materials for it and I got a couple tires for it. A nice performance tire that we found out on the road and then a just a normal one I think too. That we found just also I think on the ground. Actually. Yeah, there are a lot of vehicle mods out too, if you're looking for a specific vehicle. Somebody's probably made it. The really popular mods are the ones that add, like, IRL assault rifles. Um, like, military armored vehicles. And stuff like that. Really popular mods. Personally, I hate that. I think that's stupid. But, uh, yeah, teach their own. Duct tape. Yoink. I'm not sure if the upstairs goes over toward the garage. I think that might have been people out on the lobby we heard. You know, one of these days I should see about making a, uh, a base of operations here. It may not be so bad. You're really close to town. But not in town, where it's busiest. Pick up the green garbage bin too. I want to say the the recent update allowed these big bins to be used as a water container. I'm not a thousand percent sure on it. But I think there is something about that. 
But it's big enough, and there's plenty of ways out. You have to do a little bit of sheep rope, sh uh, sheep rope shenanigans. Sheet, sheet rope shenanigans. <sighs> but uh, a little bit of work, a little bit of TLC. It turned into quite a nice little house. Roof access by default, I think no, but if there's no second story over the garage, you could break your way through the wall via sledgehammer. And that'd be a... That was scary. Uh, like auto vaulting over the railing because I was sprinting. Or jogging, rather. Well, you could do like a rooftop gardening on the roof of this, because I don't think there's a second story up over it. Yeah, no. You might have to replace that carefully, but uh, no, yeah, break through the wall. You could use that, I think. Shooters up there? Yeah, sure. I mean, you could do that too. I think. That might be a problem, because we are pretty close to town, and guns are quite loud. Uh, maybe far, we're far enough away from the city that it's not a big issue. I also got the nice big fence here too to kind of funnel them a little bit, I suppose. It'd be okay. I usually prefer nicer, like, small areas, though, is, is what I go for. Like, the house that I've got now is, like, kind of the limit, maybe? I like having a second story, though. It's just, it's an option. Something like this is just, it's so big. <sighs> That's the spare pipe, yeah. I'll hang on to that, because this doesn't have a whole lot of condition to it. Going for as many containers as I possibly can, so if we do get rain, I can collect as much of it as I can. Carpentry-wise, there is the rain collector barrels requiring... four carpentry for this guy. Seven for that, and... I'd imagine this holds more. Four planks, four nails, four carpentry, and four garbage bags. Not the biggest task ever, but, uh... Build your own house. You could. I did that once a long time ago. The downside of doing that is the zombies will take out your walls and all that. Natural walls that you haven't touched, like generally furniture and stuff that you haven't touched. The zombies will attack and destroy. Which is why, like, if you take a fridge and you move it in front of the window, they will, uh, they will eventually get to the fridge and destroy it. But if the fridge just spawned there, they won't mess with it. So I tend to prefer houses that I haven't touched and modified too much. Because they'll just, they'll wreck all the walls. I guess with, with, uh, with metal working though, it may not be so bad. It'd take them a long while to get through that. <sighs> Dang. I like that it's a completely different sound than the bat. Big fan of that. I'll take those jeans. Take your jeans too, I don't mind. Rip it up! Venom scraps. Little police roadblock. 
Looks like maybe some keys there. Tough to tell. Keys are so small. Their 3D model is so tiny. You really got to keep an eye out for it nowadays. And there was a little... A little group of dudes over here. Give me a quick. Double warehouses between Rosewood and Ekron. Riverside. Build your first floor in them. I, my f my first place was a warehouse. Like my first co-op experience was inside of a warehouse, and that was nice. We would every every couple days just like do a nice little patrol around. I think that was the. Uh, it was long enough ago. I think that was the east side of Muldraw, that warehouse that's there on the way out. Double holster. Yoink. What? Oh, he's overburdened. Ha ha ha. What a loser. His corpse can only hold eight. I'll take a nightstick, though. I do not mind. That means I have nothing on my back. Which... is a little bit annoying. But oh well. I don't have to have something on my back. And then you can go on belt right. Then we favorite you. Jesus. I'm a big fan generally though of taking something and fitting it to my needs. So I like I like smaller places that I can take out a wall and ex like build an extension onto or uh, just a little hut that I expand upon slowly over time as I need to because it makes it feel a lot more personal then. These big areas I just I can't it's, it's so big like they're just so big. I don't know what to do with them. Because it's got all the space that I would think I ever need. I'll still fill it, mind. Don't get me wrong. Oh, apple. Is there much inside the police station aside from the armory in the back? Which I don't think I even have. Oh no, I got the stuff to dismantle it. I think a lot of this is just the uh, unnecessary stuff. A lot of water sources, I suppose. Hate small spaces because I can't fit all my cra items, but hate large spaces too. I don't hate small spaces because I can't fit all my stuff. I love small spaces because I can expand upon. But I hate when I'm out of space, yeah. For all of my essentials. Necessities. Here, I think, was the cells. I think this is just like the gate guard room. Yeah. I think there's always somebody in here. How are all these cells empty? Is this in US? This is Kentucky, US, yeah. They're probably all out 
doing the uh, community service. Kentucky had a lot. They had they were really big into uh, folks doing like the cleaning up on the side of the roads and all that. Really big into that. So I'm gonna just head cannon that they were all out doing that when this hit. <laughs> Majestic Dudeness, hello, welcome. How are you today? Hope all's going well. I think this is like the only room that you really ever want to come to in the police station. I don't think there's a reason for any others. M9 pistol, shotgun, 9mm magazine. I'll take the magazine actually. Shotgun shells, 9mm rounds. I already got a box of 9mm. 308. 308. That's it. I guess. I, uh. I don't use guns, though. Like ever. But okay. We'll make it a sawed off shotgun. Game's looking super different than the last time you watched me play it. Yeah, it's changed a bunch. This this next version is gonna be massive. They've been hard at work at to extend and elaborate everything. Because, like, we got a proper protection and armor system and body part breakdown and temperature monitoring and just... Holy shit. Just so much stuff. Apparently I'm not very well insulated. Okay, well, yeah, the legs because of the... The, the fireman pants. But not so much here. It's a bit odd. Oh, well. We're very sweaty in here, though. <laughs> Very fucking sweaty. There you go, sawed off. Worse range, but uh, better damage, I'd presume. I'll attach it on my back, how about? We good? Okay. Infinite reload gunshot? Hmm. I don't use guns enough to know anything about that. What's that all about? More of them. Hey, you got a nightstick? And a handgun. You're loaded. Okay. Just an M9 pistol. Nothing wild. But I'll take the nightstick, though. One-handed melee hype. And satisfied with that shattered window? Now you come after me. Fall over. Sweep the leg. Let's go. I actually got to go in here pretty soon. Time's doing that thing that it does. No shotgun shells and just keep reloading it anyway and it works? Oh, okay. <laughs> Convenient that I just got a shotgun. Well, you know, it's like buckshot. You just gotta put something in there. And air is something. So you really forcefully jam enough air in there. It condenses into tight balls. And you shoot that out. It makes sense to me. Very tired. It's getting a little bit late for our character, too. That's okay, though. Because, like I said, I gotta get going soon. So we can... Head out of here, if the truck lets me. Hey, it started up right away. Smash. Drop off stuff, sort inventory. Put containers outside. 
This is... Yeah, this is the right way. That leads to the... the logs. This is a different residential area. This is a more budget residential area. I want a turn up here, I think. Hey, what bag you got? Just a school bag. Okay. I liked his Will Smith haircut, though. He looks so fresh. Do you know what I am saying? I think up here is where I want. Mmm, destruction. Yes, this is looking like me. Yeah. Yeah, this is all looking good. A couple planks up there still, too. It's getting a little bit busy nowadays. The, uh... I love the chaos here. The flipped over car seals it for me. <laughs> what the hell happened here? It's Yeti's house. You can't miss it. Okay. Punk. Uh, I tried to right click to block. What am I doing? can't block in this game. Come on. Somebody. You gotta give. Yeah. I'm tired for this. I gotta make a nice pyre at some point too. Get all these bodies out of here once and for all. I say once and for all like they keep coming back. It's not quite so bad, but you know. I will take... the majority of this stuff. I hope the garbage bins can work as a water cl I, There was something in the patch notes about that somewhere. Crimson heads? Oh god. Don't say that. On your way to work this morning, there were a car- there was a car up in flames on the side of the highway. Wild shit. Oh man. It could have been an electric car during a fit. That happens sometimes, I guess. A lot of wolves out there. It's a bit spooky, really. Um... I think the crowbar I keep to, because it's like a tool, I'm pretty sure you use that to pry stuff open. I said that in Fallout, but I'm saying it again here. Spare pants, a bag, disinfected, bat, and axe. The rest of that, I think, stays. A couple bowls. Actually, I want to put this stuff... I don't think the empty pop can can be used as a water holdy thing. Find out, I guess. The jewelry is 100% just flavor, just to add a bit of junk to help the world feel a little more filled in. I'm sure there's a mod that introduces some way to like smelt stuff down, but uh, vanilla nothing. A bandage. Antidepressants. Adhesive bandages, yeah. 
be... Dis ah, disinfectant, yeah. And then we got some junk. I think the shotgun I don't really want on me at all. So I'm just gonna just gonna put that down over here. Maybe it becomes a part of my bug out bag stuff. I I don't know. Nine millimeter magazine as well. Metal pipes of spare weapons when I've got this guy. I will I'll stash these away. Metal pipes. We'll stick with nightsticks for a little while. Because these should last a pretty good long while too. A little bit more damage than nightstick. Baseball bat. We'll stash that away. The axe will stash away. Spare firefighter pants. VHS the janitor. Put that in our fun shelf. Ah, oh, shit. I'm so good at inventory management, it's insane. Alright. Package discomfort, we're okay. The discomfort is just a little bit of health drop from being overburdened. Pretty sure. Proper sleep. Majestic Dudeness heading out. Thanks for stopping in. Have a good one. Yeah. Perfectly healed. Perfectly healed at 14. <laughs> is the time to in the afternoon. Not the best time to wake up, honestly. But, uh, well, we don't have a job, so who cares, I guess. And that's a pretty okay stopping point for the day, I think. Rain. Hello, neighbor. What a beautiful day. Hold on, let me finish my soup. I'm not ready yet. Okay. Okay. Empty bowl. Yeah, so bowls of water, and it's tainted water because... Fucking disgusting rain. But yeah, so we'll see about collecting. As much rain as possible that we then have to boil up. Put the run bin out here too. Maybe. I feel like you're not going to fill up. Yeah, I was something about uh, maybe it's like specific barrels or something that you use for it. I don't think it was rain collector barrels, but maybe it can. Maybe, like, before you weren't able to pour stuff into a ring collector barrel, but now you can. Because, yeah, these don't fill up with water. Yeah, all right. But, uh, we got some containers going, and the rain will take care of the strawberries for me, and that's, that's good. We're happy with the rain. Except. Okay. So, pretty okay stopping point. Tomorrow, I don't know what the goal is. I'm, I'm not sure. But, uh, things are picking up, finally. It, it was a little bit slow at the start because the zombie start is apparently not so much. But we're getting there now with the respawns and all that that's happening and the population growth the way that it goes. We'll get there.